Yeah, and, and deserves on Linux too. A lot of people don't realize how much Microsoft uh, really does use Linux a lot now. And uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere. I mean, hell, Microsoft, I think, pays a couple million a year to be on the Linux Foundation as like a gold platinum partner or whatever it's called. So they they don't want Linux to disappear. Microsoft's not anti-Linux. If anything, they're just trying to use it because a lot of free and open source software projects do get used by it. So yeah, and FreeBSD, I'm actually making a video about like Sony PlayStation, how it uses FreeBSD and just abuses the hell out of it. Uh, well, I wouldn't say abuse, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, because they don't really don't contribute that much. For as much as they've profited off of FreeBSD, I have not seen very many commits from them. I have not seen... I think most of the bug requests are more out of... Uh, like, bug reports are more out of, hey, this isn't working for us kind of thing. Hey, BSD team, can you do it? I think the benefit to BSD and having, like, Sony use them is they get uh, a lot more eyeballs on them as a project. So uh, a little bit there, but the main issue I have with BSD compared to Linux is Linux runs a, a GPL license, which means you have to keep it open source. If you do make a project based on it, you have to have the code somewhere and it has to be public. So people could look at it where BSD is an MIT license, meaning you can take all their code, and then write a whole bunch of proprietary closed stuff and then lock it away somewhere and they never have to show the world that again, much like how Sony PlayStation does. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic between BSD and, and PlayStation, which I'm going to explore a little bit more in an upcoming video. Yeah, Microsoft's a platinum member. That's right. BSD has a license. I thought FreeBSD just uses MIT license, which is pretty darn open, at least last time I checked. And they, it's not like Sony doesn't contribute back at all. It's just they don't contribute out very much at all. And the last time, I, I'm thinking back to like Sony PlayStation 3's, the fat design. When it originally released, it had a Linux. Uh, you could actually install Linux on it. And I actually did that back in, I think it was the late 2000s. And it was cool, but a lot of times people were using it for homebrewing. I know I was. And it was make it made the Sony PlayStation a lot more hackable, and that's why I think they removed it. I think I was they even sent me like a class action lawsuit participation and stuff, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting to say the least. <laughs> I think I got like four dollars from it or three dollars. Anytime there's a class action lawsuit involved, the only people that win is the lawyers.